would often seize double, be it asteroids, volcanoes, ants, or mall cops. But Abraham Lincoln? Yes, not one, but two Lincoln movies are hitting theaters this year. Steven Spielberg's biopic and Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. I think it's safe to say these films will offer two very different takes on America's 16th president. And to help put them in perspective, let's pit them head to head. Lincoln 1 and 2, both based on books. Lincoln 1, based on true events. Lincoln 2, completely made up, but everyone wishes it was true. Lincoln 1, directed by Steven Spielberg. Lincoln 2, directed by wanted Timur Bekmambetov and produced by Tim Burton. Lincoln 1 is scripted by Angels in America's Tony Kushner and Gladiator's John Logan. Lincoln 2 is scripted by Dark Shadow Seth Graham Smith, who also wrote the original novel. Lincoln 1 stars acting legend Daniel Day-Lewis. Lincoln 2 stars theater sensation Benjamin Walker, who also happens to be Meryl Streep's son-in-law. Lincoln 1 sees the president fighting nasty politicians. Lincoln 2 sees the president fighting nasty vampires. Lincoln 1 features no major black characters. Lincoln 2 stars Anthony Mackie as the president's sidekick. Lincoln 1 features several respected actors. Lincoln 2 features a supermodel. Lincoln 1 features a score by the great John Williams. Lincoln 2's trailer and potentially the movie features music by Johnny Cash. Lincoln 1 promises to dramatically show the president's assassination. Lincoln 2 promises to dramatically show the president assassinating tons of bad guys with an axe. Yes, like the North and South of Lincoln's presidency, these two films could not be more divided. Is Lincoln 1 boring and dry while Lincoln 2 is kick-ass and awesome? Or is Lincoln 1 Oscar material while Lincoln 2 is in poor taste and threatens to misinform millions? Which side do you come down on? Or do you feel these two films can live in harmony? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now. Thank you.